Hello, Cammie here. I am sick. Hmm, I hardly ever get sick, truly. Like, it's such a blessing and I hardly get sick. But I am sick. Just a cold, I don't know, I haven't taken a test yet, we'll see. I think it's just a cold. But I'm on here while I'm sick for a couple of reasons. One, a big reason I do this YouTube channel is to kind of demystify like, oh, what is a yoga therapist? What is yoga therapy? What is a health coach really? Like, what do they talk about really? And as you know, like for me, the health coaching is really about like trauma recovery. So I wanted to show you and model for you ways of breathing. So I don't know if you're noticing how I'm breathing uh, when you're sick and, and just some things that a yoga therapist and a health coach does when she's really sick. It's been a few days now. Um, so this is a heated, that was mischief. Hi, mischief. This is a heated, that I'm just keeping on me. It's comfy. This is even more hot beverages than I usually have. Use your neti pot. I can do a whole thing showing you how to use a neti pot. You can also get those things that um, you get them at the drugstore and you put the salt in and then it has a filter you kind of shake it up and you turn it upside down. So that'll work too. The neti pot is kind of preferred because you're not shoving it. You're like with the, with the thing with the filter, you're really squeezing the water up there. It may or not, may not be great for your mucous membranes. This is just using gravity. And it works. It's weird. It works better than you think. I'm using just some good old uh, petrolatum, I think we'll call it. <laughs> Not the brand name, but just petroleum jelly. And I'm just, again, it's all about like protecting your mu mucous membranes, keeping your breasts as small as possible. Basically, try as hard as you can not to cough. The first time a doctor ever told me that, it was so annoying to me. Um, I don't know if you know this, like I used to get pneumonia all the time, bronchitis all the time. I used to cough all the time. It actually really does do some, so it, can, it can do some damage. Like there's something that's good about it. Our body's trying to get everything out, but in general, do everything you can to avoid coughing. Breathing in and out through your nose. You may notice that I'm doing this thing where I inhale and then I speak on the exhale. Usually we kind of gasp air in and out through our mouth as, our speak, as we are speaking. Don't do that. And especially don't do that when you're sick, even though you're going to want to. Because your nose is probably stuffed up. As much as you can, breathe in and out through your nose. Breathe very quietly, very slowly. I also put this stuff on my chest and on the bottoms of my feet. I think it helps and it feels good. Let's see, what else am I doing? Resting a lot, even though that's not my nature. I'm resting a lot. And still, like yesterday, I went out for a very gentle walk outside. That will really help mood. It also communicates to our body that we're alive. We're not like dying, we're alive. And so, yes, immune system, keep going. 
So anyway, just wanted to come on here. If you're feeling sick, just know that you're not alone. Um, even health and well-being coaches get sick sometimes. And um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of normalize that. Nothing's perfect. We're never perfect. And also just let you know, you know, avoid some of the, the bigger medications if you can because they'll just kind of, it feels like they're dealing with the, decon with the congestion, but they can actually clog up things more. As much as you can, rest, clear your calendar, drink a lot of hot beverages, not too much caffeine at all, and protect your mucous membranes. So I'll see you next time. And I have a feeling I'll be all better by then. Bye. Thank you for being here with me. Bye.